What's good everyone, Hyperkind here. Now, the Season 5 Beta for Arena Breakout apparently just went live a couple minutes ago, apparently. Um, unfortunately, I cannot play it yet since I play on iOS and I am still waiting for Apple to finish their review of the Test Flight Beta. Anyways, that being said, we do have the notes um, for the Season 5 Beta. So we're just gonna read over that. Um, it was included in a very obscure text document. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna scroll down. We're gonna go over the notes, and we're just gonna we're gonna talk about it. We're doing this live on stream, so you got chat. If you're watching the YouTube video, you got chat over on that side. Chat, say hello. Be nice. Don't be strange. Okay. That being said, first things first, we are getting the new map, Mine. The L Mylar Mines at the foot of Mount Onodos were once a barren land before the mineral resources were discovered. Large copper and gold mines have been established since then, attracting all sorts of characters. The construction of small towns, industrial parks, and tourist areas has made this place a bustling hub. However, the good times didn't last so long. The war between the North and South spread to El Mylar, sending local residents fleeing in droves. The prison, which was converted from an abandoned mine, was also overrun during a riot. This area's prosperity is now a thing of the past. All right, so first things first, we got, we're getting, we're finally getting the, the new map that everybody's been excited for, mines. So now here, so the, in the next section down, apparently this, it seems like this is gonna be a pretty massive map because the next part, the next part down below, we are finally getting vehicles as well. So I don't know how, how big this map is gonna be, but I mean, it's talking about like a prison. We got a prison, a uh, towns, industrial parks, tourist areas. So I'm I'm honestly very curious on how big this is going to be May, really because we're getting a vehicle. So next up vehicles, the Nolte T1 is now available. When the test server is launched, five vehicle keys will be sent to all players via mail. Bring the key with you to activate vehicles on the mind map. So and once again, so vehicles can only be used in the mind map. So we're gonna have a Nolte T1. We're getting five keys in the beta. Um, I we don't know yet. I don't know yet if the vehicle key is gonna be able to be stored in our key ring. Um, if it's a one-time use or if we've like a standard key, we get multiple uses per key. Um, but yeah, so we get five vehicle keys to drive a Nolte T1. Um, when I do get access to that, we'll play around more with that in the beta. And we're gonna be able to use that to get around from place to place, or if you're daring enough, you can use it. I'm hoping to be able to run people over. That seems like that might be a fun thing. Anyways, moving on. So new weapons. So first up, we've got the light machine guns. We got the M249 using a 545 by 39 millimeter. Um, RPD light machine gun. It's a 762 uh, by 39 millimeter. Um, equipped with standard bipod, these weapons introduce a new machine, a new mechanic, weapon setup. When you set up a weapon that is equipped with a bipod, you have a huge firepower advantage. I mean, I'm I'm assuming that it's just like a what an accuracy, an accuracy advantage. I mean, if it's a bipod, so I mean it's you're you're setting up. You're either you're going prone or you are setting up behind some sort of like wall cover or a box cover, I would I would assume because a bipod is at like closer to the front of the gun. It's a little like little feet that swings down. You like you you place it down for more like stability um, and that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm assuming that the bonus, a huge firepower advantage is going to be. But once I actually get my hands on it, we'll get to take a look at it and play around with it then. Um, for assault rifles, we are getting the MCX uh, using 5.56 by 45. An AK-12 using 5.45 by 39 millimeter. So we are getting two LMGs and two new assault rifles for the next season. Pretty cool. For the reduce a little bit of the recoil. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. It should just be like an accuracy boost um, since a bipod does help with stability, which is cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, new medical supplies. So we're getting a mobile surgery kit. Treat a broken part on the move. And recover 20 HP for the broken part. Oh, that's okay. That's uh, that's actually really cool. So you're not so with the mobile surgery kit. Um, if you've you know anytime you get a broken limb, you're fixing yourself up. You are stuck in place. Um, mobile surgery kit. 
treat a broken part on the move and recover 20 hp for the broken part so you can start um healing your you can start treating yourself and be on the move kind of get yourself you know more to a more safe location love that painkiller stimulant the stim includes both sedation and quick recovery quick recovery effect will treat the most injured part first it'll also prioritize the head and the chest effect lasts for 180 seconds or three minutes so painkiller stimulant so as long as the part is not broken it'll treat the the most injured part first and then it'll so it looks like it does one part at a time um for up to three minutes it'll also prioritize head and chest first so if your arm is more damaged but your chest is damaged as well we'll have to play around with that like depending on like where you're hurt but um head and chest damage first and then it'll also focus on your injured parts after that and it'll also sedate you as well so um you won't be making noise uh, while you're injured which is while you're while you're recovering that's pretty cool next up new accessories so we got the t951 tactical handle uh the t951 enhanced handle dedicated sight rail three times scope uh, we're also getting a t t03 tactical stock and m16 sniper barrel m24 extended barrel bm59 three times scope and more what is the and more like this isn't a text document i i honest i'm gonna be honest i wish that they would have listed everything here i mean if they're giving us all of the notes for the season 5 beta just list it like why why have a text document if you're not gonna put everything right um next up moving on to events um new event one events will be centered around four different modes mine map mine isolation mine fortune seeker and team elimination modes change every four oh okay modes change every four hours so it's on a rotating time depending on what time you play it could be could be a headache for you but i mean it's cool so we're not we're not sitting and waiting like you know weeks for for events to kind of flip like we get you know things are going to be moving pretty fast which is kind of cool team elimination 4v4 starts july 2nd players must win four out of seven rounds to achieve victory first faction that earns four points wins the match victory conditions eliminate four enemy operators to win the round if both factions still have operators after two minutes a boss squad spawns in players can also eliminate the enemy boss squad to win the round honestly it's tarkov arena straight up it's tarkov arena but you know they don't give you a flag to capture if if you're if like the two squads are just ratting out kill the boss squad uh take the victory so depending on how your squad is i mean it might just be worth it to to try to push out because i mean if a if an enemy team is trying to wait for the boss squad to spawn and like try to fight them i mean the other the opposing team can essentially focus on um on defending themselves or like focus like enemy of my enemy is my friend help the boss squad kill the people attacking them and you win right right that's pretty much it okay next up we've got mine isolation Porero's soldiers have locked down l miler down with no new weapons or equipment allowed to get in players jump into mine is isolation empty-handed and must use supplies found in the raid to battle enemies and extract so this is the uh, isolation mode that we've come to know uh last one that we had yeah it's br for mine like what jonathan said so it's essentially northridge isolation just available on the new upcoming mine map um is that it for is that it for events so we had team elimination and so we didn't we didn't we don't know what mine fortune seeker is wait around four different game modes mine map that's not a game that's just map mine isolation mine fortune seeker team elim elimination what is what is fortune seeker and what's the four different what's the fourth different mode is just mind map the mode kind of weird but I'll, I'll take it um all right next up improvements combat readiness improvement a prompt will be given when you have not brought the key for the current map 
Oh, that's good. You will no longer, because I did this last night too. I thought we were, I thought I had changed the map and I had brought um, armory keys on TV station. Um, a prompt will be given when you have not brought the key for the current map. Love that. That is actually a very nice change. Um, team system improvement. You can apply to join other teams even when you already have a team now. I'm curious if that will also... Okay, that's cool. I'm cool with that. Elimination list improvement. Eliminated operators details will be highlighted now. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll have to see, like in game to actually see what that's going to look like right uh you can now view view your in-game friends raid duration offline duration and other details uh so you get to spy on your friends a little bit more uh friends notes function is added you can add notes for friends i mean i'm gonna be honest probably not gonna use that i don't i i don't see why they want something like that but okay cool uh, next up, when your merit score is maintained at the full level, there will be bonus rank points now. Stop killing your teammates. Holy shit. You want, you want rank point? You want rank point? You want to rank up faster? Don't kill your freaking teammates. Keep your merit score up. Don't, don't kill your teammates. It, they may be loot goblins. Don't murder them. Get rank points. Jesus. So odd. Some of you just really confuse me i understand being mad at loot goblins but holy shit that is not a reason to molotov or fucking gho your teammate i and i'm putting it out there the moment you kill your teammate i don't give a fuck you deserve to have your your rank points your fucking merit go down all right next up you can save the containers you've selected during automated organization you can save the containers you've selected during automated organ. I don't know what that means. I don't, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know what that means. You can. <laughs> we'll have to figure out what that is and then play around with it. Not your loot till it's in your storage. I mean, it depends on how the raid is, right? This is kind of why I'm just about I don't play with like really I, I don't play with randoms. Like I bring everybody in through the stream and stuff like that, but I don't know. Stop killing your teammates. What number? Uh number seven is the one that I'm confused on. You can save the containers you've selected during automated organization. So you can or there's the organize button. It sorts out everything. But I mean you can also deselect containers to not, like, move anything in it. So, I don't know. Number eight. Quick split and sell now supports armor combinations. Helmet combinations, containers with items, and items item combinations that include operation supply markers. Quick split and sell now supports armor combinations. Oh, okay, so, like, higher level armors with, like, leg armor? Armor combinations. Oh, okay. Helmet combination. So helmet with a face shield. Containers with items. I mean, are people selling like breaking that like selling containers or just they, they take, I mean, or is it talking about like a bag? I mean, it might be talking about a bag, possibly containers with items, because we typically a box. I mean, but you're not really selling like an entire box, though. Like, I'm thinking it might mean like a bag. Unless you're I've, I've never tried it myself, but I've never tried moving like a box from my storage, my box storage over. They're using Canadians, but you think that they mean backpacks and chests? That's what I'm thinking it might be. That's kind of that's they could have they could have worded that better. Containers with items and item combinations that include operation supply markers. I like this. So if there was like if your magazine was listed as a, as operation supply, like you wouldn't be able to, to sell it at least this way. So I'm, I'm assuming that you can you can quick split and it'll just put the return to storage for the operation supply markers 
And if the ammo was not marked as that, you can choose to put that up for sale or put it onto the market, which is cool. I like that. Nine, storage improvements when equipment, equipping. Now you can also use quick equip when you have missing equipment or when there is insufficient space. Now you can also use quick equip when you have missing equipment or when there is insufficient space. So can you just quick equip directly to your body? They might have finally, I mean, this is what I'm uh, reading over this. This is what I'm assuming that this means. Like, because before how it used to work, um, when you go through the quick equip menu, it's in live right now. Let me click off of that. Yeah, we've needed 100%. So when you try to quick equip something, like let's say you try to do like a, a body armor that's like three spaces by four spaces. Um, when you try to quick equip it, um, it would try to put it into your storage first instead of just equipping it directly to your character, which is cool. I love that. I love that. Very nice. At least that's what I'm taking it as. We're going to have to test it when, when I do get access. In fact, test flight check. Oh, rip. Uh, let's see. Number 10 sharing process will and share codes for mod gun builds have been improved. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I never really use this, but if you are looking to share your gun builds, they're making it better. So congratulations to all those who like to make gun builds, make videos and stuff like that and put it up for people to use. Uh, when you're equipping ammo, you can apply skins to the equipped mags now. OK, that's cool. So if you've if you've done your gotcha rolls and you know, you're trying to get the that sweet knife skin, but you got the you got the gun that all of us have run into. You can just um, skin your magazines for whatever gun that you're using. That's cool. Uh, first person POV of weapons have been has been added to weapon skin previews. OK, so we got to see the first person POV when we're looking at weapon previews. That's cool. All right, big things here, balance adjustments. AN-94, increased accuracy and decreased penalty on, on accuracy during bursts. AN-94. I'm gonna admit, I, I do not recall using this gun. Um, we'll, we'll build one and we'll play around with it uh, during the beta. VSS Marksman Rifle. Increased vertical and horizontal recoil control. Love it. Um, one of the big things for me not using a VSS is because I hated the recoil. So going to have to give it a try. M14 carbine, decreased rate of fire and ergonomics. Oh, M14 is getting kind of a, a small slap. So rate of fire is going down as well as ergonomics. So it's going to be slower to actually um, ADS with the gun. Uh, let's see. The hip fire scatter bonus for the first few shots for the first few hip fire shots is removed. OK, cool. I'm not very I'm not a very big hip fire person, so that's not going to affect me too much. Uh, number five, increase base damage for the 5.45 by 39 millimeter caliber caliber PP ammo. <laughs> PP. Um, it comes out. I mean, that honestly comes down to personal play style. Uh, increased base damage is always going to be a nice thing. Um, I am not really a person that shoots for the limbs. Um, I do try to, I do typically try to aim for center mass. So, um, yeah, we'll play around with it. Let's see. Next up, we've got reduced coverage for gas masks and some helmet masks. So I'm assuming that it is the actual whatever, like the parts that it covers on your face. So they they reduce the size of the gas mask protection or something. Reduce coverage for gas masks and some helmet masks. I'm assuming that's what it is. All right, next up. The directional discrimination. Wait, the directional discrimination of footsteps will be reduced when the character is enveloped by a smoke grenade. Wait, what? Of footsteps will be reduced when the character is. So if you're standing, if you're standing in smoke, does that play with your? Does that play with your? Your sound marker? Smoke makes it hard to hear now.
I mean, ah, uh, you know what? I'll I'll roll with that. I'm. It's not often that I'm standing inside of smoke, but I'm curious to see how much it's going to affect it. Let's see. Next up, stun grenade can now force affected enemies in a certain range to make some sounds and sound prints with a corresponding intensity. So the closer to a stun grenade that an enemy is hit by, is there something that can counter that? Because it can now force affected enemies in a certain range. Like, what's the range, or is there something that can counter that? Like, stun grenades are going to be pretty big. We're going to have to play around with that and, like, actually get to see what that means. Um, And last but not least, base damage and accuracy are adjusted for some level 0 and level 1 ammo. Uh, dumb dumb rounds, everybody loves that. Um... However, they are getting nerfed a little bit from 77 down to 74 damage, so dropping by 3 points. Uh, the 5.56 by 45 HP going from 72 to 69. 5.45 by 39 HP, 76 to 73, dropping by a couple points for each one. Uh, 762 by 39, 81 to 78 for HP, 57 by 28. R37.F, 81 to 78, so it's going down by another 3, 5.7 by 28. R37X, 74 down to 71, down 3 points. And accuracy. Dum Dums, ooh. Used to give it, oh, I didn't, okay, I actually never looked at the accuracy, but it's going from plus 1 accuracy down to minus 3. That's actually pretty big. Dropping, dropping in 3 accuracy for Dum Dums. 5.5645 HP is going from one to negative three. So all of these so all this ammo. So they're making it. They're essentially trying to push everybody off from using the cheap ammo, looks like. Yeah, so it's like all lose going from like plus one to like minus three, minus four. But that's only for I mean level zero and level one. So that's huge though. Big leg meta nerf. Yeah, that's a that's a big change. Did we say minus three or do you read it as negative three or minus three? I I mean I just I'm just saying minus three. Yeah, but yeah, dum dums are getting are getting slapped a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I don't see like yeah, your dum dums are losing three points of damage, and accuracy is going down technically by four points, right? But I don't I don't see the I don't see the leg meta going anywhere anytime soon. Um, it it on on paper it looks like num like number wise, it doesn't look that big to me. I'm gonna have to play around with it. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sneak around some corners with an with an MP5, and just like go for people's legs. Um, other fixes and improvements. Um, improved special effects for gunfire smoke and shell ejection smoke. So I, I'm hoping that they're kind of taking pages out of the abi textbook when you're shooting your gun um how you had like the the smoke and the, like the I, like the heat or kind of they're taking clues from that um some accessories weights are revised to bring them closer to reality that's cool so they're going to be tweaking um attachments how they affect your gun they affect your character's weight rating and stuff like that some items reference unit prices are adjusted um marketplace selling stuff a lot of times the reference unit prices do not match like what they're going for makes sense when you use a key card a key or a card to open a door you will not have the option to cancel this action during the process if the cancellation is successful the key or card will not be used so that's cool you can be like you can start attempting to open the door and you'd be like wait no never mind i changed my mind there's somebody coming and you can stop them from getting a free door open that's cool uh, number five, improved most primary weapons firing animation from a third person POV. Why? Why from a third person POV? I'm curious about that. Improved trail effects for flares and enhanced recognition. 
Okay, all right, that's cool. Uh, we'll have to play around with that more. Improved appearances for electronic safes and retro, retro safes. Okay, so they're tweaking how safes look. That's cool. So that if you're staring at your beautiful, friendly teammate when he shoots, he looks even more beautiful. But it's it's not a third person POV though. They're at, they're they might be adding third person. I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious as to as to what they mean by this improved most primary weapons firing animation from a third person pov we don't act have access to third person pov what do they mean what do they mean i'm curious all right test flight check rip still no test flight uh that being said i am still waiting to get access to the um ios beta uh to, th to those of you, uh, to those of you playing on android i hate you have fun um don't go too crazy on it. Remember, this is a beta. It is going to wipe all of the progress that you're that you're making, all the all the grinding that you're doing right now. Once season five actually launches, means absolutely nothing. Don't go too crazy. Stay focused on live server. That being said, thank you so much for, for checking out this video. I'll see you for the next one. Later.